for Pramil Nagul. That's what he's noted for. He's a wicket-taking bowler. And he's done the trick for Pakistan. And that's exactly what Pakistan needed. England were just starting to get on top. Peters, that is huge. strikes for Pakistan. Oh, is on the way back. This guy can ball straight. England fans, look on. Pakistan celebrate. Oh, has gone for 33. 128 for... Well, that's it. It's all over. Umar Gol finishes off the innings with a superb delivery. Beautifully bowled. Silva's gone. He tried to edge it down to a fine third man. And Umar Gol strikes for Pakistan. That's a good wicket. Regulation catch for the keeper. Silva's gone for eight. And just... Nuan Kulasekara is the new batter. Oh, that's out. That's dead plum. Umpire Benson gives it, and Umar Gul is bowling a great final over for Pakistan. Kulasekara, one delivery, and he's on. Well, there he goes, Stars. That's that mid wicket area. It's a chance for Afridi. Is he going to get there? He does. Unbelievable Shahid Afridi. That is. One of the best you'll see. What a catch. The getter of the dangerous Scotty Styrus. Well, he can do it with the ball. And he's just done it in the field for his team. Styrus is gone for 22. Fashion in the middle. New Zealand and desperate trouble. Oh, he's advanced and he's been given. McGlashan. Oh, my goal has got it full, but... I've got to say, McGlashan was a long way down the pitch here. That ball had a huge distance to travel. And I just wonder whether this was tailing too much and going to miss the leg stump. There has to be some uncertainty. McGlashan goes for eight. New Zealand 73 for six. He was down the track, but Hawkeye says it would have hit the stump, so... Swat on the onside, McCullum. It's perfect for Umar Gul to find his mark. What a day he's having along with Shahid Afridi. That makes for a good day for Pakistan too. New Zealand 88 for 7. Bowl him. Another perfect yorker from Umar Gul. That's his fourth wicket and he's considered just four runs so far. This is almost like a dream for Pakistan. Can you believe it? New Zealand are 93 for 8. James Franklin walking back on 7. Leading edge and this could be the first 5 wicket haul for a bowler in an international T20. It's just unbelievable what's happening out there for Umar Gul and for Pakistan and for New Zealand. 9 wickets gone especially on a pitch that hasn't changed at all. Carmel's gone. By beating uh, Pakistan. And gone. That's a great sound for a fast bowler. And the stump went flying. It's gone a good 10 metres. First ball wicket there for Abdul Razak. Trent Johnson has gone for a duck. It's 99 for five. Goal predominantly comes into the right hander. That one didn't really do too much. It was straight, but Trent Johnson just gave himself too much room. He tried to go over extra cover, but didn't get into any sort of pins against some excellent bowling. Oh, look at that go again. 
They really are rattling the sticks. This is a magnificent exhibition of bowling. Well, it's procession now. Andrew White gone this time, bowled by Umar Gul. Excellent death bowling again, full and straight. 110 for eight. Andrew White trying to hit through the offside, giving himself some room outside that leg stump, just too much room. Pulled away, straight to mid-wicket, yes, gone, it's Gull again. Every time he bowls, he takes wickets, Pakistan on fire. They wanted the breakthrough and they've got it. Short delivery and pulled away into the hands of short mid-wicket. Chamala Silva goes for 14, 67 for Difficult delivery to bowl under pressure. Them, lovely piece of bowling that's the second consecutive Yorker and this time the off stump is out what a good ball it was good control from Asad Ali right up at the stumps in the block hole and uh, Paula trying to make some room it's no bat on it and into the lumber it goes so good innings, maybe a return to form for Karen Pollard. He's 30, and the West Indies now 220 for six. Not easy to de demonstrate such skills against somebody as heavyweight as Pollard. The first one was a good one, and the second one was even better. Did a fair bit of damage.